Conflict and Courage, April 3rd, face to face. Exodus 33, verse 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. After the transgression of Israel in making the golden calf, Moses again goes to plead with God in behalf of his people. He has learned from experience that in order to have an influence with the people, he must first have power with God. The Lord reaps the sincerity and unselfish purpose of the heart of his servant and condescends to commune with this feeble mortal face to face. As a man speaks with a friend, Moses casts himself and all his burdens fully upon God and freely pours out his soul before him. This is the type of relationship he wants with us. The Lord does not reprove his servant, but stoops to listen to his supplications. The answer comes, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. But Moses does not feel that he can stop here. He has gained much, but he longs to come still nearer to God to obtain a stronger assurance of his abiding presence. He has carried the burden of Israel. He has borne an overwhelming weight of responsibility. When the people sinned, he suffered keen remorse as though he himself were guilty. And now there presses upon his soul a sense of the terrible results should God leave Israel to hardness and impenitence of heart. Moses presses his petition with such earnestness and fervency that the answer comes, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. Now, indeed, we would expect the prophet to cease pleading, but no. Emboldened by his success, he ventures to come still nearer to God with a holy familiarity which is almost beyond our comprehension. He now makes a request with which no human being ever made before. I beseech thee, show me thy glory. What a petition to come from finite mortal man. But is he repulsed? Does God reprove him for presumption? No. We hear the gracious words, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. In the history of Moses, we may see what intimate communion with God it is man's privilege to enjoy. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.